morning, boys. Oh, hello, Rosie. You are looking pretty. So it's actually the day after I got Rosie, and she needs she needs to breathe better already. So plan of action is I'm hoping we can. Well, I can find my original air box for the SRI. If not, I have got a comb filter and I'll put that on. But at the minute, what I really want to do is be putting the K&N filter on Rosie because it's a sick filter. But, oh, saying that, saying that, saying that, saying that, we've got the bottom of it. It's probably easier if I just put the comb filter on. Okay, I'm going to go grab the comb filter, then we're going to go and see the SRI, which is looking very sad, but I hopefully she goes to a nice new owner. But it is quite sad when you go past it in the car and just see her just sat there, oh bless her. I'm hoping I've got all the right things. So that's the plan of action. It still doesn't seem real, this boy's like, it just doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't take the smile off my own face even when I try. Here's the SRI key. That's the plan of action. We're going to go have a look at the SRI, change the air filters on them. I've got the original Halfords air filter here, which is a good air filter, don't get me wrong. I've never had a single problem with this. Shout out to the OG subscribers that watched the video from day one. But I just want to say as well, this is annoying me. But for some reason the previous owner like thank you for looking after my baby but this 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 is in the wrong place mate it don't go here but they didn't mean it they didn't mean it that's gonna come off i'm not gonna bother putting a vxr badge on the front i don't think because i just like the way the front looks you know when it's a vx if you, if you know it's a vxr you're gonna know it's a vxr if that makes sense probably not Oh lads, she looks so upset, she looks so upset, she does actually look really upset, I'm so sorry, but, right, I need, I need to just dedicate a quick moment to, I, I, I don't know if you boys know, I named her Kylie, because like, she looks fast, but she isn't, so it's kind of like Kylie Jenner, you just fake everything, but let's just dedicate a moment. I want to say a few words about Kylie. This car has been, so far, the best car I've owned. I've had a Ford Fiesta. I've had a Peugeot 207 GT. I've had kind of a BMW 3 Series before this. This, hands down, best car I've owned. Zero problems except the, the ones that like the dealership caused. Zero problems. This car has been an absolute mint car. Easy to work with, except the wide mouth. Just everything has been perfect. I cannot complain about this car. If you ever have the chance to get yourself a Corsa SRI, just do it. If you can't get insured on turbos and stuff like that, this is the next best thing for me. It was for me anyway, so I, I can't say a bad word about it. I love this car. If I could afford to keep both cars, I really honestly would because this car, like, oh, it's just sad to see it not being used, but I hope one day. So the plan with this is we're either gonna strip it and put it back to stock, which will be a bit sad, but then my sister's gonna have the car for her first car. So that's kind of good and bad. Or if I can sell it, then, I'll sell it, but I don't, I, I kind of don't want it to be stripped down in a way, because like it is what it is now, it, it's it's kind of helped me build this channel and it'd just be sad to see it go back to stock, but yeah, I love this car, I will always love this car, probably as much as I will the VXR, like the VXR delivers a lot of power, but this is just so reliable, like I've had no problems with the VXR so far obviously, but turbos are just commonly not as reliable as naturally aspirated but yeah I can't I can't I can't kiss her cuz mate lads no do okay Na main purpose of this video sat there blabbering on about a car that I don't drive now oh bless it I'm so sorry I'm so sorry so for those of you that know we have 
and I know lads that this doesn't need a K&N Apollo air filter on it but why not so this little beauty is a absolutely insane air filter so what the plan is take that off this put it in the VXR across the road and hopefully put the original air filter which is on the wall over there put that back into Kylie that's the plan whether it'll go that way or not I don't know because I always end up fucking something up you boys know what it's, what it's like that's the plan <coughs> okay I don't know what this bollocks is about Lee's mate put this on for me not Lee Lockwood the other Lee from Performance Northwest he's put a little thing to hold it in place can you, I don't know if you can see that there so I'm just gonna get the tool and take that off don't know I think he done that just so it supported it from bumping around a bit So that's, that's quite a good idea actually. He's put like the bolt and this little bit of metal through the support just so it didn't rattle around in the engine bay. I like that. That's a good that's a good idea. Oh that makes my life so much easier. We've already got the extensions on from the old filter, so I can grab that and literally slip it straight back on. Which is oh hello Rosie. How are you doing this morning, babe? My lover. So for now, I'm not sure how many Jubilee clips I've got or need to put it onto the VXR. So what I've done is I've just slipped it straight on and I'm going to leave it like that. We can go back to the VXR now, take it home and fit the K&N. I'll show you a before and after of what the VXR sounds like as well, because obviously at the minute when you let off the the throttle you can hear kind of a little hiss obviously from the recirculation valve so once there's a once there's more airflow going into the engine obviously I'm trying to film a video lad there'll obviously be more air to come out so if that makes sense so we're gonna lock Kylie up for now I'll probably take her for a spin later this week So I don't know how well you'll be able to hear this while the car is just idling but I'll set the camera up and you can kind of hear hopefully you can kind of hear the little hissing noise either way let's get this airbox changed pretty much just like the SRI one bolt there one bolt there one bolt there that's how the top box comes off and then obviously you want to get your I think this will be a eight. No, I'm going to go nine mil. I'm going to go nine mil today. No, I'm fucking well off. Let's go eight. Come on, we'll work our way down. Eight mil, and obviously take your hose clamps off. And then same again, like we did with the SRI. Obviously, pull this apart. And then you want to push down on this side on the box. Let me get this out of my way. So you want to push down this side on the box and kind of pull up at the same time. One more bolt at the back, boys. That's why it's not coming off. There's one more bolt there. Now, the box comes off. There we go. Now obviously take your panel filter out. And then you're ready to put the air filter in. The comb filter, should I say. More car parts for the shed. And that's it. Tighten your bolts up and you're good to go. And that's all done. Hopefully, all sorted. Let's find out. Oh, 
that's much better. Oh, that's much better. Let's go for a spin. Right, let's have a listen to this. This is raw footage, first reaction, let's go. Oh, I love it! That sounds so good! I don't know if you can hear that, boys, but that sounds awesome. Listen to this. Oh, he's looking at me like I'm some freak. Yes, yes, we've got the dump noise back or whatever you want to call it, the hissing. I've missed that so much from my Peugeot. Peugeot had a dump valve on it, but this just sounds so much better. Oh, man. Mission success. I didn't actually realise the time. I've got work at one o'clock and it's only just about to turn 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna throw in, we're gonna go get the eyelids off the SRI and put them on this. Hopefully they fit, I'm pretty sure they do. But yeah, I'm not stripping down the SRI, just so you know, that isn't happening. I'm just taking a little bits off that someone might be able to get themselves. You know what I mean? Like the eyelids are 11 quid. If you buy the car, you can always go grab them. And like I said, my sister may be having the car if it doesn't sell anyway, so it just makes sense. All right, so I'm hoping these, I can't believe how long these have like stayed on and it's still difficult to pull them off. Like, I don't actually know how I'm gonna get these off to be honest boys, because they are on there good. I can confirm the stuff I used to stick the eyelids, the Gorilla double-sided tape, is very strong. That literally took me about half an hour to get these off. Literally. They're a little bit dirty, boys, so I'm going to give them a quick clean, and then we're going to stick them on the VXR. Now, I've lined these up, like, just put them on without actually sticking them, and they look sick. Okay, so I've gone for the kind of like pad tape because it's not really, really thick. So we're going to bang these on the car and see if they work. Postman has just arrived. This needs to go in the video. R7NO on Instagram, you absolute lad. He's made me the opposite colours to the SRI to match the VXR. Lucky Mummy and gear stick band. Oh, that looks so good. I'm going to go put them on my keys and that on the gear stick. Shout out to that guy. If you want these made, really cheap, check him out on Instagram. I'll leave the link in the description. He sorted me out these completely for free just to support the, the cause. But yeah, love him. Here we are, boys. All done. Rosie is officially not stock in a way. But yeah, loving it. And like I said, once I get like bonnet vents and wrap a few things black, it'll all fit in nicely. But yeah, that's going to do it for the video, boys. Catch you in a bit.